What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Sunday to you guys. So guys, I just now made it to my next campground. It was about a three and a half to four hour drive to get to uh, Unadilla, Georgia, to Dewey Rose, Georgia. Um, I stopped twice, but I am here, and I'm just getting started and setting everything up. There's my table set up so far. Uh, right now, I just have my canopy sitting there. Um, my van is behind you guys. And this is where I'm going to set my tent area up right here. Right in here. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the tent situation. Uh, I did get a new tent. That tent was really too small for me as a lot of you said in the comments even one comment said that it looks like a little kid's castle <laughs> and it felt that way when I was inside I can only stand up in the center of it and not the size of it so I kind of knew almost right away that it was not going to work for me I mean because when I put it up and looked at it I was like wow that looks small well as it turns out it felt the same way when I was on the inside so I ordered a new tent, which you guys are about to see me set up. And I sent that tent back. I took it to the nearest UPS store from the campground that I was at, which was about 35 minutes away. So not too shabby. And it was in the same uh, shopping strip as a Publix. So y'all know what that mean. Your boy stopped and got some sushi. <laughs> Yes, I got two trays of sushi. I got one in there and I ate one. So I'm pretty excited about that. It wasn't Wednesday, so I didn't get the $5 sushi, but nonetheless. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, get my new tent out. I'm so excited to show you guys the new tent. And cross your fingers, your eyes, your toes, and any other body part that you have two or more of. Just cross them that I can put this tent up with ease. Can I just once, just one time, put a tent up without trouble? I think I'm gonna do it today. So let's get to it. I'm gonna tell you guys around here. Bring you up just a little bit so you won't be all up on my license plate. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this new tent from up top. Here it is. <laughs> it's a different color. It's orange. Yeah! <laughs> it's orange and it's, I think it's orange and brown. I'll see. This is the new tent. <laughs> this is going to be something else, boy. I'm so excited. Now. Before I get started, this time, I am going to use this other floor that I bought for the other gazelle. I am going to use this because it feels kind of muddy like it rained here. So I'm going to use this.
Now this tent, the other tent was just 68 uh, inches tall, which is equivalent, I'm 5'2", which is equivalent to 6'2". I mean, mm, <laughs> 62 inches high. Now this tent is 80 inches high, 6'6", six, six in height and feet. So this should be plenty of tall for me. Plenty of tall. Now, someone gave me a suggestion because I had trouble putting that last one in on the top. They said, put it on first, get them all in on all four sides, and then pop it up from the middle. So, I'm going to try and do that right now. I can tell already, this thing is super big.
It worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got a roach in there already. It worked. It worked. It worked. Thank you for that advice. It worked. All right, I'm gonna turn it around so that the door can be facing that way. is big as that big. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wowza. This bad boy is huge inside. Let me show you guys. Look inside of here, guys. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this bad boy is huge. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at this. I can stand up. I can even look. I can even reach my hand up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I can walk around. <laughs> this bad boy is <laughs> This is gonna be so nice. I'm thinking I'll probably be able to put my um my full size um air mattress in here not the um the twin one look at this color in here <laughs> all right i would get the staking this bad boy down and then putting those little strings along the side because we got some little winds going on now and we can't have a repeat of my canopy flying all over the place all right guys i'm still disappointed same type of stakes and i'm gonna tell you it took a lot to get those stakes up from the that dirt <laughs> when i took the other tent down but it is what it is i'm gonna use these for now i do have the orange screw ones but of course i didn't bring them with me uh and i also have the the screw ones from the other gazelle so i have to make do with this now this is the last campsite before I head back up north and start going to the campsites up that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these.
Now I'm gonna try to bang these down as straight as possible because when I took the other ones up from the dirt, there was like three or four of them that was bent. So I'm gonna try my best to bang these down as straight as possible so that when I pull them up, they won't be all bent up. Know what I mean, jelly bean? After a while, crocodile. I'm here for 10 days, y'all, 10 days. Gotta make sure this bad boy is staked down properly. The floor looks pretty good on the inside so far. I just now took a peek inside. <clears throat> one more. I think I got one more to go. All right, I'm gonna finish these up. I think I got a little headache from, from bending down and then coming up too quick. Whew, yeah. Got a little, a little spizzy, a little dizzy spell there. All right, now let's get the strings. Now, Joe ta taught me how to put these strings on. So let me see if I remember what Joe told me. All right, he said, take, take the loop. It was like this at first. It was like that, like that at first. He said, take the loop out Take the loop, or is it this one? Oh no, Anthony. I think it's this one. No, that don't look right. I think it's this one. And then the stake goes in like that. And you're supposed to be able to, I guess, pull that up. Okay, I think that's right. <laughs> we'll see. 
Oh, wait a minute. Oh my heavens, I forgot, I forgot. Oh my Lord, I forgot, Joe. I don't know what to do with this end. I'll be back. All right, guys, I just went ahead and tied a simple knot right there. I tried to do one of the, the more uh, formal uh, knots. I think it's called a, a bowing knot or something like that. Didn't work out too well for me, so I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna tie a simple knot like I did when I was in kindergarten. <laughs> and I got it down underneath the stake. There's the... Uh, tension adjuster there so I put that one there and then I just put one back here on the opposite end and I decided not to put all four on this seemed like it's holding well the tight the tent seemed uh, stable enough so yeah That's, a, that's what's surrounding me. And then on this side, all the way over there, and not all, all the way over there, it might look far to you guys, but it's the pool and all that stuff. I'll take a look at that later on. But this is how the tent looks. I'm really digging it. I think I finally found the tent for me. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Tomorrow, I'm going to put my canopy up, and then I'm also going to take a look around the campground. At some point during my stay here, I'm here for 10 days, I'm going to show you guys around as much as the campground as I can, as I always do when I go to a new campground. I try to do a campground tour for you guys to give you guys an idea of what this particular campground has to offer and the, and the layout of the campground so for now my tent is up it's sturdy it looks good i'm very happy at the height and all of the space that's inside like i said if i choose to i can bring my full-size air mattress with me now and bring that and put inside there if i want to really get that camping experience we'll see about that in the near future or in the future but for now, guys, that's going to do it. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys the next time.